Next step is limitations. This is where most of the magic happens for you as a detailer, trying not to overbook your shop, okay? So first question, are there booking restrictions for this service? Very important question. Some things don't have any restrictions. You can say no limits, book at any time. Maybe it's detailing, but you've got, you know, 50 plus staff, you can handle a ton of jobs. So throw them all at me, we'll take them all. And if we have to reschedule someone, we will. But that's where you could set that to no limits, book anytime. The other option is to limit by staff member, okay? If I click limit by staff member, it's gonna pull up your staff members and it's gonna ask which staff member's calendar should be used. So this is where you can choose a particular staff member and then it's gonna use their staff schedule. It's gonna ignore your other limits because it's going by that staff member schedule and it won't overbook them because they can only do one thing at a time. So it's going to book them sequentially. So it'll, any, you know, slot that they have booked up, if they're booked up for four and a half hours on Monday, it's going to only offer appointments outside of that four and a half hour block on Monday and other days, depending on their schedule. So that's where if you limit by staff member, it's going to use their schedule that's set. And just to show you where that was again, so if we go down here, and they can set their own schedules as well. It's in the, the back end. They simply click on my account. They can add their hours unless you restrict that, and then they can't. Um, and then you'd have to manage it for them. But you can always adjust schedules here as well. So is it a fixed weekly schedule, or is it a variable schedule where they have certain days that they're working, and you can simply, you know, enter in this is a day off or put in their hours whatever they happen to be working um, so you you have full control of their schedule here as well um, so you can use their staff schedule if it's fixed we weekly it's just every week and you can change this anytime but um, essentially it'll use those hours that are set for that particular staff member if that option is chosen so we'll go back to detailing limitations so limit by staff member that's that's how that's going to work there now limit by time and dates this one is a little more complicated but offers the most flexibility for your shop i think that you know like at our shop most of our services are set up this way um, because the way that our staffing is done except for like part-time guys that do specific services or something and uh, those it'll work on their schedule but for the most part most of our like we have multiple staff for each service so it's it's fine and we limit by time and date usually. Uh, so the first question, which days of the week can this service be booked? Okay, at least one is required or it will enable any day. So if you don't check off any options that this can be booked, it'll assume it can be booked all the time, okay? So if you only want this service to be booked on Mondays and Wednesdays, then you're gonna wanna change those to you know uncheck the other options, right? But if you want it booked the you know other days that you're open, check those options off, okay? Now, are there any daily limits for this service? Now for these, anytime you have a question, there's a little help box here that explains what these are, but I'll go over them in detail. So, are there any daily limits for this service? If let's say you can only allow 10 bookings per day of this particular service, so we're, we're on the detailing one, remember? So see, detailing. So maybe we can only take 10 detailing bookings per day, okay? So th that's where we would set that there. Then you can get more specific. Are there any same service limits for this service? So maybe it using just this first option, someone would be able to book 10 detailing appointments in the same hour. So literally for 10 a.m., someone could book 10 of them. The minute number 11 tries, it's going to say, sorry, we're fully booked up during that time slot, right? Unless you also add this. Are there any same service limits for this service? So we could say allow two at a time. Maybe you have two detailers that can bang out 10 detailings a day, but you can only do two at a time. They each handle one, let's say, okay? Then that's where you set this. What that means then is that for the first example I gave you, if someone goes to book 10 detailings, it will 10 customers go to book detailings for 10 a.m. The first one will go through, the second one will go through, the third one, it's gonna say 10 a.m. is no longer available, 
because you're only allowing two at a time for the same service, okay? Now, what about other services? What if you're doing a ceramic coating, but someone's trying to book a detailing for 10 a.m.? Well, that's this section here, appointment overlapping. So let's say if you're doing, you know, a detailing, you can only take a detailing appointment in time slots that have no appointments. Well, set it to no appointments. Or do you want to allow all overlaps? Let them book regardless of whatever service is going on, as long as it meets these criteria, these first two, right? Or choose time slots with two or fewer appointments or time slots with nine or fewer appointments. And it goes all the way up to 20, okay? So and this would be at the exact same time, 20 jobs going on in the exact same time slot, okay? So if you set that to two, for example, okay? And then you set this to no same service limits, using the example I gave earlier where someone's, you know, some customers are trying to book for 10 a.m., what would happen is this. So you're allowing 10 per day. So by that rule, 10 customers could book a detailing at 10 a.m. on the same day. Then you come here, same service limits. There's no same service limits. So, okay, the 10 people could still book at 10 a.m. because it's not 11. Then appointments overlapping, time slots with two or fewer appointments. And let's say you've got a ceramic coating at 10 a.m. So then the first person out of the 10 will be able to book an appointment at 10 a.m. because it's a time slot with two or fewer appointments, okay? The third Sorry, the second person will then go and try and book for 10 a.m. and it won't allow them. It's going to suggest other dates because you have two bookings in that time slot. Okay, now the time slots are calculated based on the time it takes to complete the service. So that's where you specify. Let me just cancel out of this. Uh, we'll go back to the detailing one. So that's what we're working at. So money and time. Money and time under here. How long does this service take? So two hours. So that means if there's one booked at 10 a.m., the next, that slot basically finishes at noon because it takes two hours for that service, okay? Now, do you need extra time after the service? Maybe for travel time or cleanup or something like that in between appointments. That's where you set it to 30 minutes. So then the time block becomes two hours and 30 minutes instead of two hours, okay? Does the service require a deposit? That's if it requires a deposit and it goes back to what I mentioned in the beginning where you're using the service deposit amounts and, you know, I suggested that you put the max uh, deposit amount in there as well. Um, so that's where this would factor in if you want deposit amounts calculated and totaled up based on the services that they choose and not just a fixed amount. That's where this would come in. Then how much does the service cost? You don't have to put a price. You could have people just book without seeing any pricing. That's fine. You could also put in a price, let's say $545, and then you could, if you want to show starting at, yes or no. So you have that option as well. I recommend, I think 